Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Toshiba laptop here. This is the Toshiba Satellite L55W-C5202S model. That's again L55W-C5202S model. That information can be found at the bottom of the laptop on the sticker. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can upgrade the, RAM, the hard drive uh, for this one to a solid state drive. They do come with a mechanical hard drive, but these are the iCore 7 CPUs. They do work much better with a solid state drive and it will be a humongous uh, performance boost for these laptops. And I do recommend you guys to grab the best SSDs you can find. Don't cheap out on the SSD, don't go with any ADATA or Kingston brand or anything like that because those brands, they don't last you long. Their durability are not as much as a Crucial or Samsung brand. So pretty much grab a Samsung brand or Crucial brand, preferably Samsung. Uh, go over 500 gig or one terabyte so you get even longer durability. All right, in this case, we're gonna place a 500 gigabyte uh, crucial uh, SSD drive in here. Also remember, once you put the SSD in here, you will not have any operating system inside your SSD drive. So what you need to do is install the Windows freshly off USB stick. I made a video, I'll leave the link in my video description, how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. And also I made a video how to install it properly on Windows 10 on Toshiba laptops. So you don't get all those extra bloat words, everything like that. Installing Windows on this one, it takes only five to 10 minutes tops, and you're ready to go with a fresh brand new install Windows. I do not recommend you guys cloning the hard drive mechanical one over an SSD, because there's a little bit difference of installation. Windows takes over when it installs on an SSD than installs on a hard drive. So I would recommend you guys to do a fresh install. All right, with all those said, let's just get it started. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop. This one is pretty shiny. You want to flip it over upside down. And on the bottom cover here, you're going to find a whole bunch of screws. There's no hidden screws. There's a three black colored screws right here. One in the middle, one on each corner at the back. One silver one, and the silver ones all around in the mid towards the front end. So we're going to go ahead and remove all these screws. Tools that you're going to be needing is an, a screwdriver set. I recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set. They do have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel bits. That means they will last you a longer time. If you want to get the Pro version, Pro set, you will get an opening tools and tweezers and a few other stuff. But if you want to get the Pro set, at least get the normal set. For the opening tool, you are going to be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening covers and plastic or cases. All right, with these tools on hand, now we're going to go start removing. Also, I'm going to show you a tip at the end of the video regarding your mechan uh, mechanical hard drive. All right, so I'm going to start from one corner and we're going to unscrew everything. Keep this black screw in one pile and the chrome one in another pile so you don't mismatch those. The screws, they are all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. So as long as you keep them in a different pile, you're fine. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my video helps you guys out to do your own upgrade and servicing, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribing. And that motivates me to make more videos, take requests, answer your questions. I really appreciate it. I use a little magnet to pull the screw that don't come out. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up the laptop a little bit. I'm gonna open it up just like that. We're gonna grab the opening tool and we're gonna stick it between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that. If it's gonna focus. Now we're just gonna twist it and we should hear a click right there. We're gonna do this all around in the front end. And same thing we're gonna do on the side. We're gonna go all the way to the back corner. Make sure you hit those clicks. Do the left and right side. Once you did the left and right and the front, 
Then you simply grab it from the front end, bring it up, wiggle it around a little bit, and go to this and put your hand on the hinge, and just lift it up a little bit, and it's gonna let go of the back end all by itself. All right. Down here, we're gonna see the whole motherboard. First thing, people always go like, you need to disconnect the battery, you must disconnect the battery. It's absolutely not necessary to disconnect the battery. If you wanna disconnect the battery, pull this jack backward, and the battery will get disconnected. But to upgrade in the hard drives, you do not need to do this. All right, the mechanical hard drive is right here. It's being held down by a rubber caddy, and an adapter goes to a flex cable, goes to the jack. So first thing first, we're gonna lift up this jack by putting your finger right here and lift it up 90 degrees and bring the jack upward a little bit and pull it out. Now you're gonna lift it up the hard drive from here, bring it up. Now this is a HGST, which is being bought by Western Digital, but they still make it, you know, these brands. So what are you gonna do first? We're gonna remove the adapter by pulling it backward. Don't pull on the cable, pull on the adapter. You're gonna be using the adapter and this rubber caddy, just peel it off. You don't need the aluminum, just remember the orientation of the pins in here. And in the same orientation, you're gonna put this one in here. So remove and place the other one right in there. All right. And Bring this one over. And now we have it in place. Grab the adapter. There's only one way that it goes in. Push it in there. Bring the hard drive in, slide it right in the jack, push it down in there. Now, what you need to do is to slide, open up the lock for the jack, and slide the flex cable right under inside the jack connector and lock it down. And that's how you replace the hard drive. Now when you boot up, you're not gonna have any operating system. You will need to install your Windows in here. Regarding this hard drive that you're gonna have, if your hard drive is still okay, you can use it as an external hard drive. So all you need to do is to buy a caddy. I'll leave the link in my video description. You can buy a cheap one, a good brand. I'll leave for a few good brands in there. So pretty much you're gonna get your caddy for your hard drive. I'll call them external enclosure. So pretty much you're gonna grab this hard drive, put it in there, slide it there, and all the way toward the cover, and put it in there. Now you have an external portable USB drive. I mean, this is a USB, which is 3.1, and USB 3.1. So you can recover your files from here after you install the Windows. So that's another beneficial thing for upgrading. All right, once you finish down here, now we're gonna grab the top cover, we bring it over and put it down straight and push down the corner, make sure you hit those clicks in the front, in the back. Now you wanna pinch gently the back and the bottom cover right there. So you're gonna hit those clicks in the corner right there and now you want to open the screen a little bit and if you see any opening right here in the corner here and just pinch it together and it should lock itself into the place and the last thing down here it will be simple just put the black screws at the back also if you have disconnected the battery plug it back in so all you need to do is put the black screws right there at the back and the chrome screws at the front end I have installed a Windows 10 on this hard drive, so I'm gonna turn it on, and we should be able to get to the screen, to the desktop, with no issue, and so you guys can see that it does actually work. You, know, you don't need to remove the battery or anything like that. Because people keep asking me, why don't I, don't I turn on the computer after upgrading? So for those people that keep asking, I'm gonna do this this time. I don't know if it has battery or not. So we're gonna plug in charger. And let's see if the screen is really reflective. And I'm gonna turn it on. And there we have the Toshiba. And is loading the windows. And 
it's really fast and you're already on the desktop within a few seconds. There we have it. So I'm just gonna shut it down and we are done. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click that like button. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.